Welcome back to my channel on the real here and today I'm going to share with you five tips when playing shop Titans these are things that I've learned while playing and I think maybe they'll help you guys as well so the first thing I want to go over is only use your gems on chests and why is that it is because everything else really is not worth it and the chest you get multiple items that I mean, help you out at the end, you know, at the end of the day. You can get all these items from this chest. It has, you know, if you want to be, like, mathematical about it, you can see the odds. But, I mean, I don't really, <laughs> I'm not into all that. But, you know, I think it's worth it. For 50 gems, you can unlock a chest. And when you're, like, early game, this is very helpful. You get a lot of things out of it. And, when you know, when you're early game, it's hard to get keys. This one as well, it's only 75. And then you start to get to, like, the ones that are more expensive, these ones, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you have a lot of gems, do it, but you don't have to. What is this? Okay, sorry. I just saw a little alert there. Now, another thing that you can use if you don't want to buy chess that I think would be worth it for your gems is to use it on yourself. Like, if you go here and you go to your avatar editor... And, you know, there's a lot of cute clothes you can buy with gems. They have events. Like, right now we're in this, like, St. Patrick's Day event. They'll come out with, like, event clothes and things like that. So, I mean, like, yeah, do, you know, do what you need to do. This one's not, this one you have to buy something to get it. But, like, this one, you know, you can change the color. They have cute little shoes. So, yeah, you know, just play around with it. It's not, 100 gems is not that much. It's better than wasting your gems on something like, uh... Rushing an item, you know, like, oh, I'm going to spend 12, 11 gems. No, like, no. You, you When you want to rush something, use energy. That's what I say. And if you don't have enough energy, start discounting things. Like, whatever, you know. Do some small talking here and there. For example, this. I don't even have it, but I'm just going to suggest something else. If I wanted to, I can discount this. But, you know, just play around with it. It's not, it's not that bad. All right, so the second thing. It's to save your Ascension Shards for, I say level 7 and up items, but, you know, obviously everyone's different. The reason why I say this is because I've already, when I first got Ascension Shards, I used them. So, like, for example, the Cutlass, but, like, I really, I use them all on this one, the Squire Sword, right? And in the end, I would say, yeah, it's worth it because it didn't cost as much to use because it's a Tier 1 sword. When you get to the higher tiers, it's going to cost more. But now I have the multi-craft chance and resources spent minus four and a times three quality chance. So when I make this, it only costs me one stone, which is insane. Like if I just want to make stuff to fill my shop, I can just make a bunch of these and it only costs me one stone. And look, it takes like under 10 seconds to make. So um, if you really want to save it for the higher tier items, you'll probably get more of a value out of it, especially because, okay. This this was very helpful to me. Look, I got two right there because I was early game and I really needed the help. But if you save them, I mean, I would say maybe use it on one low item so that you can like craft a bunch of them. But if you can save them for like a tier seven, um, let me see what I have bookmarked here. Like for example, this one, this is a six, but just for example, you get a minus four. Look, you get the multi-craft chance, and then the components spent is not, like, that serious. So I would look to see what each one does, because each one is different. See, that one's a little bit different. So, yeah, I would just check it out. This one's a level six. See, so then I wouldn't need to make... This one would be worth it, because I wouldn't need to make the other piece of armor to make this piece of armor. So that, that would be worth it there. But you'd have to use it three times. But look how much it costs. 25 shards, so that's... That's a lot. Where the Squire Sword was like five. So, you know, it just depends how you want to use it. But that's my recommendation. Number three, complete bounties, you guys. Now, obviously, join a guild and make sure you're in a guild that's active. And if you go to your goals, you have this bounty board here. And it gives you, you know, sometimes you get all these hard ones and you can't do them. And that's fine. Just wait. It'll reset. And once one comes out that's easier, get it and do it because... You're going to get, start to get points, and when you get these points, you get rewards. And these are the re and once you get these rewards, your guild leader or officers, I believe, they can use it for you to get, like, cool perks. Like, you can get something that's, um, uh, what do we have right now? Because they activate them. I don't know if they're permanent or not, but let me go to my guild. Let's see here. Yeah, 
So we got craft boost, you know, we got, what's this one? Quest boost, experience boost. So then you can start to resource boost, you know, you can start to level up faster and, you know, just improve faster, get better at it. So that's good too. Also, you get um, these little point things where you can get these grab bags, guild coins is what they're called. So that, and these give you great items as well. That's very helpful. You get like little things that you can, like the seeds that you can use to give your uh, heroes more power and defense and health. So it's really, really cool. And not only is the bounty good, but your tasks, if you can do these as well, yeah, you can also refresh them if they're like too hard. So like the little reroll, re you can reroll that, you know, something a little bit easier. And then you get these tickets and you can spend them here where you get these little star coins, fortune tokens, and you can redeem them for awesome prizes. I always save mine until I get like a thousand because the third one's always better. The third one's always better. All right, so the fourth thing that you guys should do is invest in your buildings and get your grab bags. So we already went over grab bags. Another way to get guild coins is by investing in the buildings in your town. For example, here, I can start investing. But the more you invest, a building marked with the guild's choice will be cheaper to invest in. What? I don't know how I did that. Okay, sorry. So when you invest in a building, obviously we have guild members that have spent real money because I can't use this building, but that's what... If it has a little outline that's gold like that, let's see if I can zoom in on this. That means that one of your guild officers or your guild leader picked that you should invest into this one as much as possible. And obviously I don't have it and I could still invest in it even though I don't have it, but I think I'm going to go with something else like this one because he's almost level 11. So I'm just going to put some money in here and you see how like it says 575 plus 25, boom, so it goes to 600 and I get 25 tokens. And you can look at your investors to see where you're at versus everybody else in your guild. So like the number one person here, Nej, if he wants to invest more into this building, it's going to cost him a lot more because he's already put so much into it. So keep that in mind when you're investing. For example, the town hall building, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see, I've invested like $3 million. So when I go to invest here, look at how much, look how easily, like I only want to go 11 up and it's already $1,100,000. So just be careful when you're doing things like that. You know, keep in mind, the more you invest, the more expensive it's going to be, but that's okay if it's worth it, obviously. And my last and final tip, use the market, you guys. The market, okay? You have offers, so you can see what everyone is selling, and you can uh, sort them out by the gold price. For example, look at this one, 90. I can literally buy this and sell it in my store, and just, because it's a tier one, I can just surcharge it and I'm already making double the money off of it. This one, not so much because it's 280, the base value, and they want 480 for it. So I probably won't get that. So yeah, just keep an eye on the market. Uh, a lot of people overprice things, which is insane. Usually when I sell things, I try to keep it at like the base value, but that's just me. There's also requests. So you can see what somebody wants and what they're willing to pay. So the ones that are highlighted, like, See, that's because I have those items. So this person's willing to pay that much for this bow. So I can be like, okay, and I'll sell it to them automatically, and I get the gold. Boom. But now I have zero in my inventory, so I can't sell anymore, but that's fine. Look at that. So instead of spending my energy in the, in the shop and getting double, you know, gold coin, I can save the energy for something else, like a higher tier item that I can double the money on, and just get some gold here, someone that wants the item. Also, there's not only items, you can do runes, uh, ma you know, materials that people need. So I can do that. Like, I have a lot of these elven woods, so I can just sell them real quick, you know. And then, obviously, treasure chests, but I don't ever try to give those away. There's also guild requests that your guildmates can request that, you know, if you want to help them out, that's cool. And you can create a request on what you want and how much you're willing to pay for it or you can make an offer and i like to do this for the higher tier items for example the savage claw like it costs so much energy to surcharge a customer i'd rather just double it like this not it's not even double but like you know a little bit more and then get my money like that 
If it's a lower tier item, I'll just sell it for what it is. But, or if I have a lot of it, you know? But usually I'll try to, I won't go too high. I'll just do like the, the double arrow once and that's it. Or I'll do a little bit of the single arrow and that's it. Or I'll just sell it for base price, but that's, you're not gonna get a profit off of that. Oh look, someone already bought it, see? But if I would have had it for a really, really high price, no one would have bought it and it just would have been sitting there. So yeah, you guys, those are my tips. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.